Hi, my name is Jasmine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is all about recreating this stunning look. It's called the soft glam look. So basically, you know, if you want to go very light on your base, very dewy and something that's very subtle, if you're wearing a heavy dress and you want to go easy on your makeup, this is the look that you're going to create. And this is the look that we are going to be creating today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jazz it up. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer from LA Pro. Now, this one is in the shade Pure Beige. And you guys, you all know, I use it more as a color corrector than a concealer. And this product is so magical. Like I apply it over any spots or discoloration that I have. And it just makes my skin look like really even tone. And that's what I love about this one. The key to perfecting any makeup look is blending. Like you have to invest a lot of your time into blending and once your base looks flawless, I think any look just sits perfectly on it. Now I'm going to go with this concealer from Maybelline and I'm just going to brighten any areas that I feel need to be brightened like here under my eyes. You know, even this is such an amazing concealer, like it's so smooth, like the second you apply it, you feel like, okay, like it's really, really nice. My T-zone and my nose. You know, whenever I blend my concealer to brighten it, I just like using these uh, mini beauty blenders. Like I think that just a game changer when it comes to blending also they reach areas that are otherwise difficult to reach for like the big beauty blenders so these one come in like really really handy i mean this concealer is so nice it just blends in so seamlessly it's so smooth and it's just the the, the perfect color to sort of brighten and get that uh, look on your face you know i don't like concealers that do too much or that i don't like to brighten a lot I mean, how much ever is required. I see a lot of people who you know, brighten a lot. And that, I think, doesn't look nice. Like, your base needs to be very natural. And it, it just needs to cover what it's supposed to. It's not that you have layering a I think that doesn't look nice. So, this is amazing. You know, since I'm going for a soft glam look, I'm going to go ahead and use a foundation. Usually, I skip it. So, I'm going to use this one from Maybelline. It's in the shade 115. I'm also in the shade 230. So, I think I'm going to mix these two and then see how it looks on my skin. Now I'm going to use this brush by Nykaa. It's the foundation brush. Whenever I mix any foundation, I like to use this brush because it's very easy to sort of apply. So I'm going to mix these two uh, foundations and I'm going to show you how it looks on my skin. And see, this is how I like to apply it in very thin layers. This brush is amazing for application. Dude, just look at the shade, you know. It's, it's such an amazing foundation. It's, I think, from, it's at around a 600 to 700. That's the price range. And it's amazing. Like, look at this. Like, it looks like a skin tint. It doesn't even look like a foundation. And I, I really enjoy applying such foundations, you know, where it just feels like, you know, it's very lightweight. The texture is smooth. It's It has a lot of shade ranges. I also made a video on my uh, favorite foundations. And I did mention this. This was, I think, the top three this was in the top three or something I, I don't remember and it feels like so a uh, soothing like so cooling on the skin you know it has that effect and I love it and this foundation brush is just like a game changer you guys I'm just gonna roughly apply it but I'm gonna apply it in very thin layers and then I'm gonna go ahead and really blend it out perfectly Now I'm going to take in my beauty blender and I'm going to blend all the foundation that I put. It is extremely important to blend or else your base will just be cakey in like no time. So invest a lot of your time into blending. Now I'm going to go ahead with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to sort of uh, set my base. I have this cutie powder puff from a uh, PSE pack and I'm just going to set it here under my eyes. Extremely important. Now I'm going to take this lash brush from a uh, Swiss beauty and I'm just going to sort of comb my brows or just give them a shape. Then I'm going to go in with this uh, brow kit from Faces Canada. Okay, always use a shade that is one or two shades lighter than the color of your brow. For example, if I have black brows, I'm going to go in with a brown or maybe gray. So that way it looks very natural. If you use black, it's going to stand out and that's not going to look good. So I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to dip it in my brow powder and very 
gently just fill in any gaps that I have. You know, I don't like to draw my brows. I don't like to go overboard with it. Just like, jitna required hai, utna hai. And when I come to the beginning, I just take it in upward motion. And see, like it makes a huge difference. Uh, and then you can again go in with this. And if there's any extra product or if it's too dark, to isse wo balance ho jata. So this is how I like to do my brows. So I'm going to try and create today's eye look with this palette. This one is from Morphe, Jacqueline Hill. And I think it's a stunning palette. It has all the shades that you need. It has like pinks and browns and glitters, blues, greens. So I, I like this palette. So I'm going to try and do something with this. So I'm going to take this brush. This is the diffused uh, crease brush from Sigma. And instead of applying my shadow all over my eye, I'm just going to apply it onto my crease area and just give it sort of like a shape. And I'm going to make sure that I go in with like a light shadow so that if I want to build it up, I can build it up later. Like, pehle hi dark color kabhi mat use karna, vanna bohat problem aa jati when it comes to blending. So I'm just going to use it onto my crease like this. I actually changed my brush and I went with another one. Like this one is a bit more precise and it's going to sort of take the eyeshadow in a much more better way. Now I'm going to go in with this color. So this one is a little darker and I'm just going to very uh, gently just buff it on the outer V of my eye. Now I've applied this in a patting motion. Means I've like put all my eyeshadow here but isko blend humme hamesha ek circular motion mein karna hai. See like this. Just like blend it here. The key to a soft glam look is blending. Like you have to make sure that the eyeshadows you're applying, they're properly blended together and they look like they're one shade, but like a mix of many, you know. You can't, when you have an eyeshadow look, you don't have a difference in your eyeshadows. It should be blended like that seamlessly, that perfectly. Also now I'm going to sort of extend my eyeshadow like this so that it looks like, you know, uh, I'm making like a V and it looks like a little snatched. Like that is really, really important. Like see, I'm going to pull my eyes up. Now I'm going to take in my fluffy brush and I'm going to blend it all together. Like that's extremely important here. So now I'm going to take in this brush. It's by Swiss Beauty. It's the concealer brush. And I'm going to go in with a shade like this. And I'm going to apply it all over my crease. Like really, really lightly. Do you see? It's such a stunning color. And see, I'm just going to clean my crease with it. It looks like such a stunning shade. Like two shades are mixed. And it looks very soft and very sultry. You know, now I feel it just needs a little bit more color, something that looks like skin. So I'm going to take a slightly brownish shade and just go over my lower lashes. This step, I mean, just look at it. Like this step is so important for like a natural uh, smoky eye or a natural soft glam look because you know the colors brown or pink is our uh, skin tone or our body is a little natural. Look there. So just look at it. It looks like so effortless yet so sexy. Applying shadow to your lower lash line is just a game changer. I mean, just look at it. Or you need to ki line ko thoda sa yaha par extend kar do and fill a little bit of color here. So it just looks even more defined. Dude, not bad at all. You know, since it's a soft glam look, I'm going to take in very a subtle shade of glitters and mix it. One second, I'm going to show it to you guys. I am going to take this shade and this shade of glitter. Just mix it and very gently apply it over my crease here. I mean, oh my god, you guys, just look at it. Like, it makes such a huge difference. Like, y'all have no idea. And blend it, like, perfectly.
you know we're not done with our eyes i'm going to show you a little tip i'm going to share a secret that's going to make a huge difference so i'm going to take a dark brown shade and dip my brush into it now take a shade that's a brown like that's dark and use your smudge brush and then very slowly just next to my lashes i'm going to apply this very just be very careful and just go along with your lash line and do you guys see like it makes a difference and because it's brown it looks like very natural and when you open your lashes pata bhi nahi chalta ki aapne kiya kya but at the same time there is a huge difference uh make sure that you just apply it till here like half of your eye puri nahi karni varna it's going to look like an eyeliner look and that you don't want that like this is a very a uh, sultry look so we just going to keep it half now tell me doesn't it look so glam uh, isn't there a huge difference humne ek itna chhota sa step kiya but wo itna major difference make karta like you guys have no idea see these are the little little secrets of makeup like these are the tips and i love sharing it with you guys like i it just makes me happy you know when you all comment or even if you all tell me that you know this really helped or it's detailed like it gives me so much motivation now i'm going to go in with my mascara दो कोट लगा लो लाइक जस्ट गो हैवी विद योर मस्कारा फॉर दिस लुक आई डोंट लाइक टू पुट फॉल्स लैशेज बट यू कैन पुट लैशेज दैट इज रियली और नेचुरल यू नो द इंडिविजुअल वन आई एम गोन गो इन विद माई मेबली इन हाइपरकर्ल मस्कारा एंड जिस गोन अप्लाई इट नाउ बिफोर आई डू माई ब्रॉन्जर एंड माई ब्लश आई एम गोन टेक इन दिस कॉम्पैक्ट ब्रश फ्रॉम स्विस ब्यूटी एंड आई गोन ब्रश आउट द पाउडर दैट वी हैड वन आप फोटोज खींचोगे ना एकदम व्हाइट आती है लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम वी सी पीपल और उनकी फोटो यहाँ से यहाँ से व्हाइट दिखती है दैट्स बिकॉज उन्होंने अपना पाउडर ब्रश ऑफ नहीं किया होता है सो इट्स एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट टू ब्रश ऑफ एनी पाउडर दैट यू हैव बिकॉज अभी तक तो सेट हो गया होगा नाउ इन अ लुक लाइक सॉरी नाउ इन अ लुक लाइक दिस अ ब्रॉन्ज इज गोन मेक अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस आई एम गोन टेक माइंड फ्रॉम बेनिफिट एंड जस्ट अप्लाइड ह्योर where my ears start so that it gives my face a really snatch look and it sort of adds that warmth and depth to my face like look at this and then i'm going to take my beauty blender and just sort of blend it out so that it just looks like skin I'm going to show you my new blush from Kiko. I love uh, this one. It's the creamy stick blush. It is it is such an amazing product and I love blushes like this because your application will be bahut easy hote hai. So if you're a beginner and you don't know how to do makeup or aapke powder blush you know se shape nahi hota so something like this is incredible. So I'm going to apply this here. Such a stunning shade on my nose. again here and i'm just going to give it more definition with the blush i'm going to go in with my foundation brush from nyka and just do you see like this brush is just amazing just look at this and i'm going to apply it in this motion see up i'm going to blend it upwards Now I'm just going to go in with this uh, blush duo by NARS it's really uh, it's it's well, how do I explain it like it has a highlighter effect at the same time it's pink in color so instead of like putting a lot of highlighter I just put this and just look at the kind of glow that it gives your face like it looks just stunning it's such a stunning shade it's it's amazing Now I'm going to use this liner of uh, for my lips and I'm just going to sort of overline and fill my lips with this liner from K Beauty. All the shades are going to be mentioned in the description below so please don't worry about that. Now after applying my lip liner I'm going to go in with this lipstick from Huda Beauty. It's a very nude shade or uh, whenever I do like a a soft uh or you know like a glam look i just like to go in with nude lips like a glossy a uh, lip or maybe just put some glitter so i'm just going to apply a nude lipstick so that you guys can see what i'm doing with it
Now I'm going to show you guys the most uh, stunning lip gloss in the world and I'm going to apply it on top of this so that you guys can see the kind of difference it makes. It looks so stunning, so natural, so sexy and the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lip oil. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Please let me know in the comments if you'll recreate it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. I love you guys and see you all soon.